Hi guys, I'm Christy from Living the Week for Your Life, and today I'm coming at you with some gluten free makeup finally. Very exciting. So, I recently emailed e.l.f. and I prefer to email a company instead of do a live chat. Live chat is easier, but at the same time, if somebody from the company isn't really sure about something, I feel like they're more likely to just answer you with whatever they think it might be instead of going and getting help or taking the time to figure out the answer. So, I emailed e.l.f., Eyes, Lips, Face Cosmetics, and I asked, um, are your products gluten-free? I listed all the products that I was buying. Um, I even said that I had heard that their mascara had wheat in it. Um, and I was wondering if any of this stuff was gluten-free. And they emailed me back relatively quickly and said, yes, everything is definitely gluten-free. And the only thing is that it's not made on specifically gluten-free equipment. So, that depends on your allergies. For me, I didn't think it was too big of a deal. Right now, I'm just, just making the transition into gluten-free makeup, so this is still better than what I was using. So anyway, right now, I am wearing a face full of e.l.f. I am wearing, um, on the bottom, their Tinted Moisturizer. And then on top of that, I'm wearing their Flawless Finish Foundation. And then I have their Tone Correcting Concealer. And that's it. That's all I'm using. Um, I did buy something else, but I don't currently have it on. I'll tell you more about that. It's a clarifying pressed powder. Here it is. Um, I don't have it on right now, but it does eliminate shine. It helps to bring down blemishes if you have any. And um, it just, it really finishes the whole look. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to do a blog post about those things so I can really go into depth about what they're like and what, how much I like them because I really like them. This is much better than the makeup I was using before, which was Neutrogena Moisturizer and um, Neutrogena Liquid Foundation. But I'll tell you exactly what I was using in my blog post. Today's vlog is really about trying a few e.l.f lip products. So I have four here for you today. I have their Moisturizing Lipstick. I have their Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. I have their Extra Lip Gloss. And I have their Luscious Liquid Lipstick. And there are like a few more than this too, but these were just the ones that I picked up. I was looking for more of a red, and this is what they had in stock at Target for red. Let's start with the moisturizing lipstick. I haven't opened a single one of these yet, so everything is new to me. And it says moisturizing lipstick, velvety satin texture glides on lips with vibrant color and luminous shine. Rich and creamy formula will seal in moisture for long lasting wear and comfort. Okay, let's see. Here it is. This is red carpet. And well, this is much bigger than this, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, this is a regular, looks like a regular lipstick. Pretty normal size. Doesn't look as red as the packet makes it look, but who knows? So let's see how it goes on. I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now. Ooh, ooh, it smells nice. Mm. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, the more I layer it on, the more it becomes a little bit redder. Okay, so I would call it more of a, a pink. I really wouldn't call this a red. Um, I don't know if you can see quite as well. This is red. This is not red. <laughs> this is definitely not red. Um, this is not as red as the package. I do like it though, it's just not a red color. See, compared to my lips even, it's just like a nice sort of bright pink, but not hot pink or anything. Here. So I would say that that's a really nice color. I definitely like it. It feels very, very moist on my lips. Like they slide over each other with no problem. I don't feel any of the chap underneath. I have slightly dry lips. I don't feel too much underneath. And I would say it looks really, really good. I definitely like the color. I wouldn't 
say it was super red, I'd say it's reddish with like more of a pink to it. But definitely moist. It smells really, really nice. So that's the moisturizing lipstick. I was looking for sort of like a like a red, you know, like like what I just showed you, like this. But um we'll see, maybe something else will do. It's super red. So let's call, let's try this jumbo lip gloss stick next. And by the way, um, e.l.f. doesn't say that their stuff is comedogenic and hypoallergenic and all that necessarily on all of their products, but um, it does say on their website that all of their products are both. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so lip gloss stick, this looks like a chubby stick. This is in Movie Star, which also looks like a red. It says long wearing tinted lip color. So chubby sticks are classically, of course, um, not like a solid, heavy color. They're more, they're a little bit lighter, a little more sheer. Okay, now let's try it. It should be pretty moist. Good chubby sticks are nice and moist. My favorites are Clinique and it's Mineral Fusion. So this does not smell good. Smells kind of weird. I think it's trying to smell good. It's not really working. <laughs> okay, so that's like sort of a similar color it looks to me as the lips, the moisturizing lipstick that I just used. I can tell you it does not smell as good. Um, the other one just smelled really good. The smell is a little bit leady, which is not my favorite, but the color is nice. Um, it's very similar to that one. It's not super sheer, which I like. I like when these chubby sticks are not super sheer. It is moist. I'd say about the same as the moisturizing lipstick. So definitely happy with that. Um, I think it was represented pretty well. Yeah, I would use that. I don't, like I said, I don't love the way it smells or anything, but it's still pretty good in terms of color and wear. Feels like it might have some mint or something in it. Next, let's try this luscious liquid lipstick. It says long lasting color and shine, hydrates, conditions, and softens on contact soothes and smooths lips and this is in raspberry so this should be a pretty nice um slightly darker pink and this is really unusual i don't know um it has like an applicator tip on one end and you're supposed to turn for it to come out the other end so it's a little bit different so you have this like sort of spongy not not super you can't press it in much um sort of more fuzzy than anything yeah it's kind of fuzzy Oh, okay, here we go. So I'm going to turn this. Maybe I should read the instructions. That might be useful. Twist the bottom of the pen to activate color release, layer on color, reapply anytime. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It is kind of low, so here it goes. It's getting there. Very close. Just waiting for it to, oh, I see it coming up here. Oh, oh, it's weird. Can you guys see that? It's really kind of funny. Ooh, look at that. That's a little different. Um, okay, I haven't experienced anything quite like this before. So this should be different. Okay, so I think this looks really nice on, it's got just enough color as a gloss. Um, to look good and like very shiny without being like wet looking and, and you know anything like gross like that. Some some lip glosses look like you've drooled on yourself. So um, this doesn't look like that. Just just enough color to be pretty. It's got just a little bit of shine. I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of glitter in it even. And that's what the applicator looks like afterwards. So my only concern with this is like if I didn't use this for a while you know, and the applicator is sitting here like that, because there's, I don't know if you can really wash that. That's, um, that was like a material. It's not even like a sponge. It's like a material. But 
besides that, it does really look good. Yeah, it doesn't have like a good smell or taste or anything. It is kind of just like product, but it's not exactly an expensive thing. So yeah, I can't be too surprised. So I do like this. I think it looks really nice on. So we have one more product. It's called Extra Lip Gloss. EX-TRA lip gloss. I'm betting you'll really need to put this on top of like a, a lipstick. Ultra smooth, rich colored gloss with extra ingredients to moisturize and condition. Unique applicator shape applies precision color for a pouty perfect look. And I got this one in Brett. So I'm guessing that I should put this on top of a lipstick. But for now, let's just put it on my lips and see how sheer it is or how much color it has, what it would be best with, etc. Here it is. Alright, so this is like classic, only... Oh, this one smells like the moisturizing lipstick. It's nice. Um, it looks like the applicator might be flat instead of round, which is normally what you would find in, in uh, a lot of those just like straight up lip glosses, it would be round and it's flat instead. Maybe it will be better to apply. Here's to you. Oh no, it's got a lot of color. Ooh. The wand is bendy. It's not uh, a super stiff wand. I don't know if that really matters that much, but um, but it's nice. The applicator is soft, and uh, it's sort of a pleasure to put on. So there it is in comparison to my lip color, my natural lip color on the bottom. There it is, and I would say this is a really nice color. I like it a lot. It's not super red. It's got it's like a dark or a version of a pink. It's very pretty and correct me if I'm wrong but it's got a little bit of maybe a gold shimmer or something similar. I really like this. This is very nice. I'll put it on my upper lip now. Mm, easy to apply. Alright, it's, I really like this. I think this is my favorite. I think this is actually my favorite. It's very, very super moist, but it's got a lot, a lot of color. So it's like a lipstick gloss. This, this is genius. So here's the review. Favorite, really beautiful color, smells and tastes good, easy to apply, and is only $2. That's the extra lip gloss. I also really like this moisturizing lipstick, and that also smelled and tasted good. It looked very nice. It was not quite as red as I expected, but the color was really pretty so I did like it this one was three dollars that's all this was the lip gloss stick jumbo lip gloss stick see everything comes off as just lipstick on here almost so this I think this one was also one dollar and I did like this one it was not as sheer as a typical chubby stick it didn't smell or taste that great um, so that's what detracts from it for me, but I did definitely like it. And finally, this lovely luscious liquid lipstick that is so different, really nice application, very easy. The applicator is small, easy to apply, didn't really smell or taste good, probably smelled and tasted worse than the other one, but really, really pretty. So I really like them all. I can't say I disliked anything, but my two favorites are definitely the moisturizing lipstick. It's dead. The moisturizing lipstick and the extra lip gloss, and probably I could use them together, but I mean, this extra lip gloss can really be used on its own. I love it. So thanks so much for watching. I'll put links to e.l.f. on the site. I will also do a blog post on the e.l.f. makeup that I'm currently wearing. I really love that too. I'm really impressed with this brand. It's super cheap. It's a drugstore. You can find it at Target. The most expensive thing that I bought was the Flawless Finish Foundation, and that was $6 for a foundation. That's nothing. And everything else was $3 and below. So that's all for today. Keep on living the wheat-free life.